Oh, let's get our acceleration here with the F350. Woo! Spinning the wheels on a dually. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a 2021 F350 Platinum dually finished in Velocity Blue. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Schmiller Ford Lincoln here in Provo for giving me some time with this truck. Check out the inventory link below. Let's get straight into the video. Popping out of the hood, we have the 6.7 liter power stroke diesel that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 475 horsepower and then 1,050 pound feet of torque. Now let's go to the front end of this truck again. It's finished in Velocity Blue. Notice that you've got the guard here from the factory. It says Super Duty on it, definitely cool look. And they've got the full LED lights here just down below and they've got the gigantic chrome grill that comes with the Platinum. Got your Ford logo with the camera there at the bottom of the logo, chrome tow hooks, and look at this color in the sunlight. It looks so good. Fog light right here and then you've got the gigantic air dam. And other than that, there is the front view. Now coming to the side here, we've got two 45 millimeter tires wrapped around 17 inch wheels in the front and then all four tires there in the back, same exact setup. And then coming back to the front tire, notice you've got the mud flap there just behind it. And then here's a quick look at the suspension here in the front. You've got your Platinum F350 logo, Power Stroke 6.7 liter logo, gigantic trailer mirrors with the chrome there at the top, chrome door handles as well. This one also has the FX4 package and there's your full side view. Now let's pop in the back of the F350. So first off, you've got the full liner here from the factory, and then you've got the Ford step here into the bed. And you guys can probably hear it echo a little bit. If we actually pop back here, we've got the LED lights and then all the plugins. And then this one has the 32,500 pound fifth wheel setup. Pretty cool to see that in person. I've actually never seen a heavy duty Ford with one of these. So it's definitely cool to see that. And then this one also has a tunnel cover from the factory. And look how, like, look at this. It's got the long bed, obviously, because it's a dually, so it's like the biggest tonneau cover I've ever seen in my life. And, well, that's all. Also payload, 3,900 pounds. Now, finishing things up in the rest of the rear, you've got the giant platinum plaque there on the back, and then you've got the LED lights here on the side with the exhaust tip sticking out. And then notice the size of the leaf springs here with the heavy duty. Pretty crazy. And then, again, it's got the F FX4 package. You've got the shocks, and then you've got your parking sensors there on the bottom of the bumper, and... Well, that's all for the back. Now let's go over the door panel here in the back. So first off, you've got the nice soft touch leather here where you're gonna rest your arm. And then you got the really cool like blacked out wood trim. And then here are the seats with the platinum. So full leather, it says platinum on it, perforated leather down the center, kind of with the pinstripe type deal. And then there is storage space underneath the seat. Got the floor mats and then it's power running board. So really easy to pop in and yes, here we go. So we're in here, guys notice the headroom's pretty good. And then, well, legroom is good, but I've got the box in the way. Got a couple cup holders here. You've got the seats, you've got all of the outlets there, and then you've got some vents as well. And more cup holders and that's all for the back. Now here's the door panel at the front. So again, you've got all the soft touch leather here with the blacked out wood trim, all of your window controls. And then we've got the mirror extender here, memory seats just down below. And then here are the seats at the front. So they say platinum on it. You've got perfect leather here down the center. And then you've got the regular leather here on the sides, all of your adjustments on the seat. And then it says platinum right there on the plaque. Got the pedal layout right there, your power adjustable pedals. You've got the light controls up above and you've got the lights outside either mirror. Steering wheel is automatically adjustable. And there's one more look before we pop in. Now here's the steering wheel in the F350. So first off, you've got soft touch leather all around the steering wheel, and then you've got the contrasted stitching there on the center portion. Got your volume control right here, and then you've got your phone control, voice command controls, controls for the center stack, and then you've got your adaptive cruise control on the other side. Got a little stock there for the turn signal, and then we do have the column shifter there. And as you can shift the gear yourself with those buttons, and then it's also a drive mode select, and that's all for the steering wheel. Now popping here into the center, we've got the analog gauges on either side, and then you've got the screen there in the center, and uh, all sorts of tire pressure action happening here, so uh, definitely need to get that uh, changed and everything. It's just because of the weather change, guys. Utah's crazy. It'll be like 20 degrees, and then in a few hours, it'll jump up to like 30, 40, 50 degrees. It's just crazy with the temperature swings here. So it wreaks havoc on uh, tires. But anyways, you guys can see all the normal stuff. The biggest thing here is gonna be the towing information section. That's probably what you're gonna use more than anything else. Here in the center, we've got the different drive modes. You get normal, tow haul, eco, slippery, and then you've got deep snow slash sand for all the different drive modes, and that's all for that. 
Now coming here to the center screen, first off, if we pop it in reverse, you've got the backup camera and you can zoom in there, which is definitely a nice feature. And then you've got the bird's eye view on top of that. And then notice you've got that menu and this shows you all the other camera views, which there are probably about a million and a half with the truck, shows you everything with the truck. And then we can see the tonneau cover for that. And then yes, you actually can zoom in with that as well if you're hooking up to a fifth wheel. That is for auxiliary cameras, if you wanna add anything or like to a trailer. And then notice this is out either side and you can go to the sides with that camera so that helps out uh, but yeah from a camera perspective really good diesel exhaust brake right up there and then you've got your stability control and then the hazard lights that's your hill descent control lane departure assistance and then that is for the camera system to turn it on and that's all that portion now for the rest of the infotainment system response time on it is really good you guys can see when you press the screen pretty much happens right away and then we've got the seats which is pretty cool this does come with the seat massagers in the platinum which i think that's just a nice luxury feature now down below here, you've got a bunch more controls. So we've got an outlet and then you've got the analog controls for the radio, analog climate controls, does have a dual zone climate, has heated and ventilated seats. Got your drive line select here with your two wheel high, four wheel high, four wheel low, trailer brake controls. And then you got your trailer backup system. And we've got a bunch of storage space in here with the USBs and then covering it up, it's got some wood trim there on the outside. And then notice we got more storage here with a couple more cup holders. Center console fully covered in leather, definitely looks nice. And then notice it has the lock box in it. And then coming over here, we've got the Super Duty glove boxes, which are nice. And then you got the leather here with the contrast stitching on the dash and then over on the driver's side as well. Up top here, we've got a power sliding window, which functions nicely. All of the auxiliary switches. And then we have a full panoramic center for the sunglass holder, universal garage door openers, and then the controls to the center for just right there at the top and then full black headliner. Now that we're done going over the interior of this Platinum, let's quickly get into the pricing. So in terms of pricing, this Platinum stickers are about $91,000 for any type of market adjustment. And in before I get all the comments about how this was more expensive than someone's first house. Anyways, let's take it out and see how it drives. Well, let's quickly go over visibility here with the F-350. So first off, visibility over the hood is really solid, just like any other F-350. It is a larger size hood, so it takes a second to get used to. There's your visibility through both the trailer mirrors. They do have blind spot monitoring. They're massive. They show everything. And then here's throughout the rest of the rear, which it's pretty easy to see the edge of the bed throughout the rear window and all of that. And that all being said, let's set off. Well, let's set off here in the F-350. So first off, let's talk about the road noise and the ride quality. So from a ride quality perspective, you guys can see when you go over stuff, it does bump the truck around. That's expected for a dually that's normal for the segment. Uh, but when you're not going over stuff, even though this isn't loaded up, it actually rides pretty smooth for a heavy duty truck. So no complaints from me. Let's see how the brakes are. Yeah, brakes are really good. I'll we'll go through this roundabout and see how the handling is. I mean, for a dually, it's doing pretty good. It's relatively easy to maneuver. Definitely long um, and wide, right? That's what duallys are all about, but it's not too difficult to get around that whole system right there. Torque's really good with the truck. Um, I mean, you guys heard the power figures, 475 for the horsepower, 1,050 pound feet of torque. It's a lot. Yeah, I like the steering on this. The steering feels really direct for a heavy duty truck. Again, if you get like out of a sports car or something like that, then no, it won't feel direct. But if you're comparing this to other trucks, it definitely has a directness to it. Well, let's get our acceleration here with the F-350. Woo, spinning the wheels on a dually. <laughs> Fords are fun to drive, okay? They are definitely fun to drive because of how much power they have. But yeah, I mean, from an acceleration standpoint, for a heavy duty truck, it's quick. Uh, compared to like a half ton, it doesn't necessarily feel crazy quick uh, with some of those half tons with the bigger engines or like the new EcoBoost Ford. Um, but it's it's pretty quick. And I said Eco, I meant EcoBoost. I cannot talk today, apparently. But let's get into summing things up. And I don't know what that is, but we are going to avoid that like the plague. Um, I don't want to run over something with a $90,000 truck. Summing things up. The exterior on this truck, I love it in this Velocity Blue. Super unique, it pops, it stands out. So if you want a heavy duty truck that stands out, Velocity Blue folks, and again, Ford Provo has one. 
In terms of the interior of this truck, I like the Platinum a lot. The seats are very comfortable. They definitely feel softer compared to the seats in a Lariat. So you do get a benefit by going to the Platinum. It does come with a little bit more standard equipment, all that kind of stuff. Um, but the biggest thing is these seats, definitely, they feel comfortable. And then you get the massage function too, which is nice. Uh, so overall, definitely nice on the interior. Uh, the steering wheel feels really nice too in your hands. I love the feeling of the steering here with this truck too. Definitely has a nice, like I said, has a nice directness to it. And then as for the driving, I mean, like I said, it drives punch like every other heavy duty truck. It's not crazy bumpy though, which is nice. Some of these dualies, they are like, uh, I don't know. I don't know what else to uh, compare it to, but it's like a booty bouncing up and down or something like that. Like they definitely have a bunch of up and down motion. This one's pretty planted, which is nice. And then when you load it up with a trailer, it'll kind of definitely feel even uh, smoother. So overall, I think this is a great truck. I love the spec on this particular truck. And so if you're looking for something unique, I think this would be something that would be cool to look into getting. That's gonna sum things up for our video on this 2021 Ford F350 Platinum in Velocity Blue. And again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Schmiller Ford Lincoln here in Provo for giving me some time with the truck. Check out their inventory link below. I'll see all of you in the next video.